Hello everyone. So we've already seen how to use integration to calculate the volume of solids, the length of curves, and the surface area for solids of revolution. What we're going to see this week is how to use integration to solve a number of different problems in physics, and also in sciences uh, in general. And the idea will always be the same, and it's the same one that we use in the geometric context. We'll take a problem, we'll slice it into small slices where we can do the calculation that we're interested in, and then we'll sum over slices, which really means integrate, to get the total quantity that we want to calculate. Okay, so what I want to do in this first video is just work through a problem which is very typical and exemplifies pretty well what the steps are. So here's the problem. I have a 200 kilo kilogram cable which is 100 meter long and it, it's hanging vertically from the top of a tall building. The question is, how much work is required to lift the cable to the top of the building? Okay, so let me try to draw a little picture here. Here's my building something like that. Then I have my cable, which is hanging from the top, vertically here. What do I know about the cable? I know that the length here of the cable is 100 meter. Its mass is equal to 200 kilogram. So I could also calculate its density, which will be useful later on. So the density here will be the mass over the length of the cable. That's linear density, which in this case will be 200 kilogram over 100 meter, which is just 2 kilogram per meter. All right, so that's what I know about uh, the, the problem. Now I want to calculate the work. So we know, you have probably remember from your physics class, that the work is equal to the force uh, applied on an object and the distance that you're moving this object. Now the problem here is the following. The force is perfectly fine. The force is just a gravitational force, so it's just going to be a constant given by the mass of the cable times the gravitational acceleration. The problem is the following. So each little part of the cable will be lifted a different distance. right? So I'm lifting the whole cable to the top of the building. That means that the top part of the cable is not actually moving at all, it's not going to be lifted at all, while the middle of the cable will be lifted 50 meters, and the bottom of the cable will be lifted the whole 100 meters. So if I try to naively apply the formula that the work is given by the force times the distance, I'm running into trouble because I don't know what the distance is. I can't do that. I cannot just apply the formula. So we have to be a little more clever. All right, so let's see what we can do. So what we could do, well, let's first just set some coordinates to work with for the problem. So I'm going to take the x-coordinate to be vertical, and I'm putting the origin at the top, but you could put it at the bottom if you wanted. You would get the same answer in the end. All right, and then the idea is the following. Since I can't deal with the whole cable all at once, what I can do is just slice the cable into small segments and then calculate the work for each of these segments and add up over all the segments to calculate the work done on the whole cable. So let me take a little segment here, something like that. So this is a small segment of the cable, which has length that I'm going to call dx. Okay, and then the goal is to calculate the work done to lift this segment to the top of the building. So I'm going to call that dw. Now I know that this is from physics given by the force applied on this segment times the distance that I'm lifting the segment. Now the force here is just the gravitational force, so the force itself will be given by the mass of this little segment times g, whereas g is the gravitational acceleration times the distance. All right, now what are these things? Now the mass here, remember, is not the mass of the whole cable, it's just the mass of this segment. So I've calculated the density of my cable, which is two kilograms per meter. So the mass here will be given by the density times the length of the cable, times g times the distance I'm lifting the cable, or the segment in the cable. So now the density I've calculated is two, the length of my segment is dx. g I'm going to keep as g, but this is 9.8 meters per second square. And the distance that I'm lifting this small segment, so because I've chosen the origin of my coordinate to be right here, the position of the segment is x. So a small segment of length dx and position x. 
So the distance that I'm lifting the segment is exactly equal to x. All right, so that's the work that is required to lift a small segment to the top of the building. Now, what about the total work? So to calculate the total work required to lift the whole cable, what I do is just sum over all slices. So the total work here would be given by the integral. Now I have to decide uh, from where to where I want to integrate. Now the segments, the cable here starts at the top and ends at 100 meter. So I want to integrate from zero to 100 meter in my coordinate system of the work done to lift each segment. So that gives me the integral from 0 to 100 of 2g x dx. 2 and g are constants. I bring them out. Get x squared over 2 between 0 and 100, which is just equal to g times 100 squared, which I guess is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 times g. And then I could have uh, units. I could put all the units back, and I would get newtons per meter, which is my final answer. Of course, I could substitute what g actually is. It's 9.8 or something to get a numerical answer, but I keep it like that. All right, so that was a good example of a problem. You see what we did is always the same steps. We could not deal with the problem all at once, so we sliced it into small segments. We calculated the work required to lift each of the segments, assuming everything is constant over this segment. So these are very small, so that makes sense. Then we're summing over all segments, which really means integrating and we get the final answer for the whole problem.